In this video, we're going to show you how by listening to the tracks, you can match the BPM of two songs and get them ready for the mix. Matching the beat structure of each track before bringing the new one into the mix is important for a smooth blend. And avoiding a clanger. First, make sure We DJ is set to one of the modes that will display the track waveforms. We DJ will overlay a beat grid onto the waveform of your songs, allowing you to see the beat structure. You can use beat grids to help you match the beats of both songs. Each red beat grid indicator is a downbeat, and the white beat grid indicators the subsequent beats in a bar. To quickly match the BPM of your loaded tracks for mixing, you can press the Beat Sync button. Pressing this will automatically synchronize the tempos and beat grids with the other deck. To manually adjust the BPM of a track, you can use the BPM indicator in Wii DJ. To access the various BPM and tempo options available, tap the BPM indicator in Wii DJ. You can select or deselect Master Tempo, a feature that locks and preserves the original pitch of a track no matter what playback rate is used on the tempo slider. You can adjust the tempo slider sensitivity to plus or minus 6%, 10%, 16%, or 100% by pressing Shift and the Beat Sync button for each track, or by tapping the Tempo Range button in the Wii DJ. You can then simply move the tempo slider on the deck you wish to adjust until the BPMs on both decks are the same value. Moving the slider down will speed up the BPM, and moving it up will slow the BPM down. The slider in Wii DJ will match the movement and the BPM indicator will display the new BPM. Tapping the BPM Edit button will give you access to some beat grid adjustment options. You can half the beat grid by tapping the half button and double the beat grid by tapping the times two button. This will help if you're trying to mix in half time or double time. You can also tap in the BPM for the beat grid by tapping your finger on the tap button. This will set the beat grid, and it is useful when you want to have a specific BPM. To reset the BPM value for the beat grid, simply tap the BPM reset button. Now you have all the tools you need to beat match your tracks and get in the mix. This method of matching the tempo of your tracks is helpful when starting out, but the most important part of beat matching is to use your ears. Listen for the beat of the track you're queuing up, and make sure it's in time with the track you're playing. Look at the beat grids on the two waveforms as the tracks are playing to see if the beat grids are aligned. You can use the side of the jog wheel to make small adjustments. Moving the jog wheel clockwise will briefly move the track forwards, and anti-clockwise will move the track backwards. Turning the low EQ down on the incoming track will stop the bass lines clashing when you bring the new track into the mix. Then turn the low EQ knobs in opposite directions on both decks to swap the low end. Using EQs in time with a beat can help you to create smoother mix. By swapping over the beats and bass lines of the tracks, they won't clash or interfere with each other. 